Hello everyone, my name is Anne Carrier. I come from France and I'm a first year PhD student at NUS. Uh, my program is jointly hosted by NGS, which is the Graduate School for Integrative Science and Engineering and IDS, which is the Institute of Data Science. Uh, this actually means that most uh, PhD candidates uh, in my program actually work on uh, applied data science which involves a lot of interdisciplinary work. On my side, I uh, focus on um, computational analysis of genetic data. More especially, I am interested in, in uh, liquid biopsies. This consists of the sequencing of free floating DNA present in your blood. It has been found that in cancer patients, a small fraction of cell-free DNA comes from the tumor even before metastasis. And similarly, in pregnant mothers, a uh, very small amount of cell-free DNA coming from the fetus. And this has applications uh, either to monitor cancer patients uh, or to detect fetal abnormalities uh, in a very minimally invasive manner. So um, this is a very uh, nice subject, uh, quite uh, challenging, yeah, but uh, I think promising. So you have many uh, scientific uh, like computational problems uh, that arise from uh, cell-free DNA, liquid biopsies. Uh, since uh, the signal you're interested in is uh, diluted into a lot of background noise, so you have to like detect rare events uh, even though there are quite a, some uh, sequencing like technical error and biological errors to consider so this is challenging but interesting my uh, main supervisor is uh, prof Wong Lim Soon from the school of computing and uh, I have a co-supervisor, Dr. Anders Kenderup from ASTAR, a um, big research institute in Singapore. And he works actually in the Genome Institute of Singapore. So this uh, collaboration between those two supervisors, it makes actually a lot of sense for my research. I can really benefit from uh, the insights and the expertise from my two supervisor, supervisors, which is great. I uh, decided to do a PhD because um, I was thinking that uh, in the industry, uh, you, do you do not necessarily have the time to explore new, uh, new ideas in order to solve uh, uh, the problems you are facing. And I really wanted to take the time to contribute to a scientific domain I was uh, passionate about uh, for my PhD. I um, mean, my career and the PhD gives you the chance to do that. Uh, then I, um, I mean, I came to NUS because first I was quite willing to do a PhD abroad. Uh, and um, I mean, and also uh, NUS is a top tier university in Asia, so it's definitely a good choice uh, for your career and your PhD. Uh, what is really nice here is that uh, research is very dynamic and um, lab members are quite open to uh, collaborations, um, either with companies or with uh, either uh, other um, research uh, institutes. So, it's, uh, I think it's a good uh, environment to do good work. Um, and uh, I mean, what is also nice about uh, NUS and I mean, Singapore in, in general is, uh, is also for, I mean, for uh, European <laughs> like me, it's nice. Uh, it's also a bit an adventure uh, culturally. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, I'm quite happy about uh, my choice to come here. Um, and uh, maybe what I can talk about is what is different between undergrad and uh, PhD. Uh, I actually did my undergrad and master's in France. 
um, in a university in Paris Saclay University in Central Sud-Est, and uh, I mean maybe the main difference is that in undergrad and in um, even in masters you have exercises you have small projects bigger projects but usually your topic is already predefined and therefore your research or the development you you're doing i mean it's quite narrow while here you're answering open questions so this makes the work uh, much more challenging because you actually need to innovate in your field um so uh, and uh, usually most of the time you're doing things that only you <laughs> can i mean only you are working on this specific point so you are a bit sometimes a bit uh, alone uh developing something new so this is quite exciting but it's also challenging so you need to build your own expertise in order to uh, propose uh, relevant research directions. Uh, but there is no like, there is no uh, correct or non-correct answers. It's it's open questions. So I think that's the main difference. Uh, and um, hmm. Uh, also, something that is uh, quite uh, fun uh, in my graduate journey at NUS, so maybe I'll share some uh, uh, nice moment I shared with my teammates uh, for Chinese New Year uh, this year. So it was a quite um, a specific context since uh, COVID just arrived in China. It was not in Singapore yet, but uh, already a lot of uh, Chinese uh, PhD candidates were stuck in Singapore and couldn't go back home for Chinese New Year. So they decided instead to uh, to organize a Chinese hot pot and to invite us all. It was super nice because it was, uh, they, I mean, they, they shared, um, uh, yeah, their habits and uh, what they usually do for Chinese New Year with their families, with us. So it was a super fun moment, uh, despite uh, the hard times of COVID. And uh, finally, maybe some advice if you are interested to join NUS uh, or NGS for your PhD. I think you should look um, at uh, research labs at supervisors you have all information of online uh you can yeah and then don't hesitate to contact directly supervisors and my lab members also uh to ask questions to um to uh to, to express your interest and uh yeah to check that the the focus of the research is really what you that that could, could really interest you and also that the organization of the lab the mentoring style is uh, a good fit for your personality yeah so i hope you are enjoying this e-open day and uh, hope to see you soon in nus bye